All right, man. Detroit Lions front office, uh, one of the best pro NFL executive survey. So as much, uh, you know, admiration and, and praise they get around here. Um, and then we still got criticism of being, them being cheap. But I just think being frugal sometimes is just being uh, being careful with your money is smart. But Detroit Lions front office, one of the best pro NFL executive survey praise for the Detroit Lions front office continues to come in this time via survey of NFL executives. So. For the most part, they peers. They peers. Yep. For the most part, they peers are are, are coming in and, and and praising them and, um, you know, showing them some love and all that type of stuff. So, they peers. So, um, yeah. I mean, I think you gotta gotta respect it and you gotta love it. They peers. You know, peers come in and say you're doing something right. I think, uh, I think, uh, I think that's that's the best thing you can get, man. It's the best thing you can get. So, uh, it said respect for the Detroit Lions organization continues to pour out, and it's not just from the media and the fans. In a recent survey done by the Athletics, the poll. 35 high-ranking executives and five coaches. The Lions front office came out as one of the most respected in the NFL. He says, in a staggering vote voting process, each rank uh, rank uh, their top five with first place votes, receiving 10 points, second place receiving seven, third place receiving five. The Lions finished fifth in voting, according to the, those executives. The only four teams above them were the Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs, San Francisco 49ers, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Quote, if you ask who is the number one GM in the league right now, this minute, it might be him. One anonymous general manager said referring to Lions GM Brad Holmes. I love the demeanor, love what he stands for. Holmes has certainly delivered a ton of blue chip talent. Detroit in just three draft classes, including Panisa Well, Amar Ross St. Brown, Aline McNeil, Aiden Hutchinson, Sam Laporta, Kirby Joseph, Brian Branch, Jameer Gibbs, and then also you got guys like F.A. Melifanu. If he stay healthy, he balling. You know what I'm saying? So there's a couple other guys in there. Levon Zarike, he's starting to show up. So he doing well all across the spectrum. Um, in particular, his, two, uh, his 2023 draft class was one of the most well-regarded Ernie Holmes, NFL Executive of the Year from Pro Football Writers of America and Executive of the Year by the voting of his peers. Um, so that was the one with Jameer Gibbs, I believe, yep, which was highly criticized when they actually drafted those guys, that 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 thing was highly criticized. That that draft was highly criticized. That draft was highly criticized. You know, highly criticized. You know, oh, you took Jameer Gibbs and they did this and they, you know, you know, and I think one of the best things about it was how they was able to get a. Uh, how they were able to 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 get old but uh to get Brian Branch via the Green Bay Packers making the trade. And lot of, Brian Branch was a first round pick and Sam LaPorta looked to be a first <laughs> looked to be a first round pick. Ain't that crazy? He looked to be a first round pick. They got two first rounders in the second round, which is crazy. And one via was traded via a divisional opponent. If you don't say finesse. You know what I'm saying? That's finesse. You finesse the Green Bay Packers. And they just went out there and spent money on a safety or two, I believe. If my memory, if my memory does this, if my memory serves me correctly, they went out there and spent money on the safety this offseason. So that lets you know, that lets you know a lot. That lets you know a lot. You know. And Brian Branch, I mean, I don't know if it's because it's 40 time or, but man, we are so happy to have him. He is a straight baller. The, the Alabama, let's talk about this for a minute. The Alabama pipeline has been kind to the Lions. It ain't been kind to everybody else, to some other teams, but it's been kind to the Lions, man. And Brad Holmes has got a great eye for talent. Um, and that's how you build a team through the draft. As much criticism as I give them, and you got to find criticism, got to nitpick a little bit. When you got a platform and writers do it, it's a way to do it in a tasteful way. And some people do it in a, in a hated ass way. You know, however you feel like you got to get it, you got to get it. But I feel like I do it in a tasteful way. I just think his downfall is 
injury prone players. We read a story, you know, all about that. And then I also think not going out there getting free agency. But I, I believe I, I agree. I kind of agree with that. Because you've seen Washington for years under Dan Snyder when he owned them, he spent all his money in free agency and it didn't work. Remember the New Orleans Saints went out there and got Jerry's Bird and it didn't work. And Bird was like one, and you know, when you do this free agent thing, Jerry's Bird was one of the best safeties in Buffalo, went to New Orleans and didn't work out. Don't forget with Philadelphia got Nam Diasma from the Raiders, got him, he forgot how to play football. But one thing you got to kind of remember about these situations and about these players is that they system players. You know, they're, they're in the system. So when you go get a free agent and they've been, you know, it's one thing to say, you know what, I'll drive Darius Slay. You know, he a man to man corner. We played a lot of zone at the time. He had to learn to play zone. He got better as he learned to play zone. He got better. Well, you got an older corner like Namdi who played man to man press coverage and, and the Raiders. And then the Eagles go go and play zone. Guess what? It ain't going to work. And it's going to be hard for him to transition to zone because he already five to seven, eight years in his career. Young guy, you still can mold him. You know what I'm saying? You still can mold them. You still can mold them. You know. You still can mold them. But when you got a uh you know, when you got a uh You know, when you got a, a, a older veteran, it's hard to get them old down. They're already stuck in their ways. So, um, but yeah. But the praise of Detroit front office goes beyond just picking good players. One of the survey uh, survey NFL employees pointed to the Lions' ability to create a unique culture and identity. It says Detroit has done a great, uh, done a, a nice job of building uh, in it. <laughs> excuse me. Quote, Detroit has done a nice job building in building it in their own image, which is unique to everybody else. Another executive told the athletics in the end, it's remarkable to see the lines ahead of the NFL franchises who have been the model for success, consistent consistency, like the Packers number six and the uh, Seahawks number seven and the Steelers number 10. So, um, so, yep. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be on the, the, the uh, yeah, you ain't going to be able to read this. Cause I don't own this. I don't own it. Hold on. We almost seen it. Like the Lions with that number three. Like, cut it off. I'm not paying to read no letter. So, um, so only teams that was above the Lions were the Baltimore Ravens, Kansas City Chiefs, San Francisco 49, and Philadelphia. So, we came in at number five. All great organizations. I don't know how Philly keep doing it. Philly just keep getting better, 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 better. I don't know how Philly keep doing it, man, honestly. That's one of the platinum uh, standards for franchises. Philly keep getting better and better and better and better and better. Jesus Christ. Philly is a beast. Now I wonder how I know they work all the cap and all that stuff. It's crazy. But, yeah, Philly's a beast. But, yep, that's all I pretty much got. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Uh, want to support the channel? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, follow me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon Music, Kick, Twitch, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Check out Detroit Lions. So I'll play for more videos like this. Peace.